baby. I had to come to the studio on this one. Bro, what was that Tyler Perry movie that I just watched last night? Like, we really doing this in the first five minutes of the movie, bro? At this point, it's spoilers all day. If you ain't seen it by now, you ain't gonna see it. So, cut the games and stop acting like you is. So, I'm like, okay. I'm getting out the shower. I see um, hubby done turned the movie on. What he done turned on is the Tyler Perry movie. And when I say this is somebody who do not watch Tyler Perry movies, this is somebody who do not watch Tyler Perry movies. For, so, for him to even turn it on without provocation is crazy in itself. But he turned it on. And so the movie comes on, and I've heard about it, but until you see it in action, you like, they really did this shit, bro. They didn't, like, allude to it, and then you got to assume that that's what happened. Nah, bro, they took the body out the casket. Is you for real right now? Okay, so from this point, you like, this about to be turned all the way up in not a good way. So, as the movie is going forward, I'm like, okay, let's let this story develop, you know. Let's get to know the characters. All I know is, bro was off, but we ain't addressing his offness. Like, we ain't gonna... All y'all gonna do is give us a tidbit of why he might be a little crazy. You ain't gonna tell us exactly why he was a little nuts. You just up and tell your wife, hey, we getting a divorce. I don't give a goddamn what you talking about. And ain't gonna tell us why. Like, bro ain't tell us why he wanted to divorce old girl. He ain't give us no hint that she was doing too much. I ain't even, I can't say that word. But all she did was work at the bank, bro. She wasn't running the bank. She was working at the bank. So you telling me that she was acting like she was better than you and she was working at the bank? Huh? And you had a good job too? So, huh? And if I had to hear one more time. That they lived in a small town that everybody knew everybody. And it was an hour and a half from Atlanta. Sir, if you don't just give us the name of the city so we can go Google it ourselves. Because at this point, when I say everybody that got on the road to go to this girl house. Or this girl got on the road to go back to her mom and daddy house. Or old boy got on the road to go and kill some cows. Or old boy got on the road to come and stay with her. Because she felt like she needed to not be alone that night. Or old family said, hey, you got to come home because your husband tripping. Or daddy said, I'm about to come to your house because... That boy ain't about to put his hands on you today. Mind you, I'm waiting on, remember in What's Love Got to Do With It, when Tina finally got tired of Ike ass, and they was at it in the backseat of that limo on that car, and when she got out that car and she went in that uh, hotel, she was like, get him. I'm tired of his ass, get him. That's what I thought was going to happen at the end of this movie because not during the movie once did we see oh boy i swear he you y'all need somebody need to do a video and do a count of how many times this boy said bitch to every woman that he got mad at in this movie like he couldn't come up with nothing else no hussy no slut no um no 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 you ratchet no nothing he just said bitch every time he got mad at a woman bitch you in my way bitch you just like your daughter Bitch, I'm going to hit you. Bitch, you better get out of my way. Like, bro, I'm, find something else to say. Like, they ain't give you no leeway with the script or nothing. Or you ain't got no kind of, what's the word I'm looking for in you? Ad-libbing. Do something. Like, Corey, bro, I, was, I had high hopes for you because I've always wanted that boy to succeed as an actor in this world. But this ain't the movie for it because you just proved to me you have no ad-libbing chops right now. He couldn't say nothing else, bitch, every time he got mad. And it made me mad. And I'm like, bitch, say something else. Damn. So that's one problem I had with the movie. And then the other problem, like I said, was the whole, the hour and a half thing where every time somebody got on the road and said it take an hour and a half to get to her house, they was there in five minutes. Um, it's it, Listen, if you leave at 6 o'clock and it's supposed to take an hour and a half to get there at 730, it's supposed to be dark. Most of the time. So, um, I don't know what was going on with that. And then when old dad came, and he was like, listen, I'm about to put up these cameras because this boy tripping. Y'all ain't use the damn cameras. Y'all had this man go up here for nothing and do nothing. And he put the cameras up in 
wasn't as fast a time as it took for everybody to drive back and forth from this small town that's an hour and a half from Atlanta to Atlanta. Crazy. And Kia got their props too because I seen them in that movie. They said, we ain't coming through and giving y'all Mercedes Benzes and Lexuses. No, no, no. You about to drive this Kia in this car and this boy got the nerve to say, you want to act better than me and we driving a Kia. Sir, get your life together. You could have at least told us, Tyler Perry, why that boy really wanted to divorce that woman was because his family ain't like her. But at the same time, he ain't like he ain't like his family. Because what I will say is this. How you going to go over there to put hands on folks and get your ass whooped? That's not how that's supposed to go, sir. You should have had planned that out in your head. You was an ex-Marine. You supposed to go over there and throw down. You went over there and I do me promptly whoop. Like, they ain't waste no time. They ain't say nothing. They ain't ask no questions. They say, pop, pop. We ain't got time for this shit with your old ass today. Bye. That's exactly what they did. And then that mama, she was so, like, she was all over the place. Like, how you going to sick the dogs and then call the dogs off? Like, at that point, you were supposed to let them go ahead and do what they was going to do. Because now, he in the hospital talk shit. Mm-mm. Listen, once them hounds is out, let them boys go. Or, like, a a a a or what it was was, Mama was just needing that little bit of protection the whole time. And y'all was making her look like she was crazy. I don't like how they didn't develop her character either. They just had her looking like she was just out here in these streets, ratchet, ghetto, country, whatever. But what it was, this woman had a house full of goddamn boys. Do y'all realize that? Oh, them boys was bad. Them boys was this. Them boys was that. And then, apparently, somebody shot the daddy. Like, it was so much going on. It was chaotic in this movie, bro. It was chaotic. And we never got clear answers for stuff and i don't like movies like that like i need you to lay it out to me why mama was nuts and why she had them boys acting like that why did the brother get shot in the beginning like they didn't even tell us a little if they did i missed it um how he get shot and then at the end we right back where we started because another one in the hospital because he done got shot like who is in this street who in this town keeps shooting these brothers and ain't nobody getting called we ain't gonna talk about that it was so much going on in this movie um shout out to all the actors and actresses who was in it but um y'all couldn't save this one um uh, and i'm i'm hard on a movie but um this this was well deserved to be hard on because um it just it was too all over the place and it wasn't I, we didn't get the storylines we needed for me as an avid movie watcher i need to know the storylines and i couldn't figure them out except for you ain't we didn't tell you we was proud of you all them years when you was younger. And that's why that man doing what he doing to you. Well, what is he doing to her? Because y'all really ain't say that. And you didn't really show it in the movie either. Because remember, and what's love got to do with it? We saw Ike put hands on Tina during the movie. We ain't seen none of that. And this all we did, all that dude did was call that girl bitch like 15 million times in the movie. That's all we saw him do and call everybody else bitch and act like a bitch in the meantime. He didn't even like flinch at her and like and make her think. She was not scared of this dude at all. So it almost to me was like, well, wait a minute. Is she the problem? Like, has she been doing what she did at the end of the movie the whole time in their relationship and got people thinking that he was doing stuff to her so she can get back with old boy? Like, all over the place, bro. Like, but that could have been a storyline. That could have been that could have been a better storyline. Tyler Perry, I'm giving you permission to run that back. Old girl set that whole thing up so she could go and get back with old boy and not make it look like that's what she was trying to do. That's what I think should have happened in that movie. That would have made the storyline make more sense because other than that, it didn't. I tried to make it make sense and I couldn't. I, I tried to get the lesson out of it and I couldn't. Usually, because this was like a church movie, this, there was supposed to be a lesson taught. I ain't get it. I missed it all the way. So, um, yeah, we gonna need... All y'all to come back uh, to the front of the congregation and explain what the hell we just watched because I have yet to figure it out and it's the next day. Bye, y'all.